Allie, what started you into K-pop? This is this is hard. I have to have a prepared answer for this. No, but what like, like just being natural. Like what what how did you get started in K-pop? Um honestly, I think it goes back to Sailor Moon. So I grew up watching anime, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, all that fun stuff. I never do Dragon Ball. It's so slow. So I actually liked uh, a lot of the Japanese music and the Japanese soundtracks when I went to shows. Mm -hmm. So even you know when I was twenty something at my job, I would turn on some like Sailor Moon playlist and listen to that. And I don't remember. I can't remember exactly what I was watching that then led me to the next click. But I was specifically remember it was after school's flashback video. Oh, I love and, that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I watched it and I was like, this is really good. And there's like eight girls or nine girls or however many there were at the time. And they were all doing this like cool synchronized dance. And I was like, this is pretty cool. Visual effects and all that. So I watched that and went about my work day, listened to some more Sailor Moon stuff. Then I guess after a while I went back and looked at it, and then it was like the next click, and the next click, and then this is related, and then all that. The system works. Yeah. I, and then I remember the first time our conversation about K-pop was because I had been learning FX's new ABO dance. Oh, right. New ABO. So I was like, Dave, you're a friend who's into other cultures and doesn't think that this is probably weird. I can talk to you about anything that I yeah. think might be weird or not. So it was one summer night and we had a bunch of people over at our apartment and everyone was out on the porch talking, like cooking burgers and stuff. And we're inside and I'm like, Dave, I've got this great new dance I want to show you. I've been watching a lot of K-pop and there's this group, they're called FX. I really like their music and there's this one song I love to dance, so I've learned part of it. Can I show you? And he's like... Okay. <laughs> so I showed him the dance and, and we then sat on the couch and I showed him some of the other videos I liked, like Girls' Generation, The Boys, and a couple other ones. And next thing I know, he was sending me songs too, and I was sending him songs, and yeah. the love, the love just grew. How did you get to K-pop, Dave? Well, yeah, a lot of stuff she actually said, I remember watching a lot. Of Sailor Moon when I was little, like getting up when I was in first, second grade, because it was on at 6 a.m. in the morning. And then that evolved, even though my parents didn't really like me watching anime, because there was a lot of like adult content and stuff in there. I would still like ride my bike to the library and wear my pants with big pockets so I could stick or rent VHSs and put them in my pants. So pockets. Steal them. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm I put them in there and I would I would bring home uh Love Hina, Romno One Half. Uh I went through all of Evangelion when I was like in sixth so good. seventh grade and even though I love the first half of Evangelion. That's not, that's not the point of it. But the point of Evangelion <laughs> is, is I still, I haven't watched it in years and I still remember that theme song and I still get, I think I had that theme song on the shop page on my Neopets. <laughs> and so I, I really love kind of like the age, Asian culture of music and stuff like that. And so my first real interaction with K-pop was of course Gundam Style. Uh, when oh, that yeah. came out, there were a lot of people that were shown as me being like, this is really weird. And I was watching it being like, <laughs> No, this is awesome. <laughs> and I watched it so much that I ended up going to his uh, to Sai's actual YouTube page and saw the second version with Hayuna. And I would listen to that. And then I, I actually downloaded it, showed it to some people, and everyone around me was always just like, I can't stand her voice. It's it's too, oh my god, I can't. And I was like, oh yeah, I was just I was just showing it to you because it was stupid. Ha <laughs> ha. Where I was just like, I really like this. This is awesome. She's and so. so cute. I know, and I loved it, and then I tried to get, because I was like, I really like this Hyuna girl, let's see what else they have, and I, I, I tried to look for more videos and ended up watching some live performances, which I was like kind of overwhelmed, and everyone was just complaining about some kind of bubble thing, and how she's changed since then, and something about Crown Pop, so I thought Bubble Pop and Crown Pop were the same thing, and I was just like, I'm confused, and I'm giving up, I can't do this, so I just stuck with Gundam Style until... One day at a party, Allie was just like, can I show you this dance? And I was just like, duh. And she did, and then we sat down, and then she showed me a few FX videos, and I was just like, yeah, okay. And then she showed me uh, Girls' Generation's Boys. And that video, I was like, oh, holy 
this is awesome. And after that, I was sold, watched a few more videos, found Secrets Poison, which, which dug me even deeper into it. <laughs> Watching that, I was like, I have to find more things. And that led me into more FX, into Brown Eyed Girls, into Girls Day, into Orange Caramel after school, and... The list goes on. Yeah, and so <laughs> since then, I have been the dedicated uh, dance watcher to see how <laughs> the dances are coming along. Fan boy. Yeah, I am. Well, I'm definitely not that much engrossed. I just finished college not too long ago, so I haven't had a lot, a lot of time to devote, although I'm getting better. Um, I'm getting better at the names. Uh, but for the most part, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm still learning at this, but I still love a lot of stuff. And I have about four CDs that you've made me in my car that I just like interchange and switch out. So yeah, that was a lot longer than I meant it to be. That's how we got into K-pop and hopefully we're going to uh, discover even more about K-pop and Korean culture. And exactly. you guys and then go the there place. someday. Oh God, that would be so nice. That'd be awesome. Just visit Seoul would just be... Incredible. Anyways, that's us. So yeah, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy our channel. Let us know if there's anything else you want to see. Ready? <laughs> so, team, team fight team. What you? Why did you just shoot me? I don't know.